We've all been to garden shops and passed by those puny looking marked down plants, right? Well, our next story is about a man who used to collect throwaway plants and he took them home to Bishopville, South Carolina. As the plants grew, Pearl Fryer transformed them into whimsical abstract shapes. In tonight's One Tank Trip, producer Russ Hunsinger takes us to the Pearl Fryer Topiary Garden, which serves as a testament to what can happen with positive thinking, hard work, and some perseverance. If you ever come to Bishopville and try to find my place or ask for direction, never ask for Pearl Fryer Topiary Garden because they don't know what you're talking about. I always say, I'm looking to place the man that cut up bushes or whatever, and they give you direction. Detailed, ingenious, unbelievable. Pictures will not do this place justice. You have to see it with your own eyes because this is a very talented individual. How one guy can do all this, I don't know. I would have to have a crew. <laughs> I'd have to have a big crew working on something like this to make it happen. Uh, and one guy doing it just shows his dedication and hard work to this. And it really goes to show you what you can accomplish by using what you have. And a lot of times we spend too much time complaining about what we don't have and never use what we do have. I bet you get folks from a lot of yeah, different places, don't you? Well, I get people from all over the world. Sure. I guess that's where my inspiration comes. Because I can't believe that people come so far to see cut up bushes. <laughs> no, cut up bushes, I hadn't really thought about it like that. You can tell all the houses that were built up in my house because they saw me cutting up bushes. How simpler can you get? I've been inspired by my neighbor, Pearl, who set the bar for the neighborhood pretty high. He had the best looking yard in the neighborhood. And I said to myself, I said, well, I had to do something with my yard. I like what he's doing with young people really believes in the next generation. He wants to inspire them and, and try to help them realize their dreams. I give scholarships to students that go to junior college, community college, or tech. And my point is, we're losing too many students from the bottom for the lack of financial resources to develop talent from the bottom because we educate from the top down. And at some point, we will realize the importance of education to solving poverty and crime we will educate from the bottom up. I'm where I am because somebody along the way had that attitude and made sure I got a chance to develop my talent. What he has to say, they I think most home. young people would benefit from hearing. He just feels that no matter what their walk in life, no matter where they came from, they can make something of themselves. And this is, I think, what he has done here. It's just such an example of determination and persistence, and he just made it happen. It's his dream, and he's real, living it every day. You can see he's enjoying life. Success is about three things, work, passion, and marketing. Your level of success in life is how well you market what you do. It's not whether you graduated top of the class or the bottom of the class. I'm actually more enthralled with Mr. Pearl than I am his cut bushes. The cut bushes are awesome and it's beautiful and it's artwork in true fashion, but the real piece of art sits in a little green motor scooter over there that impresses me more. It's worth a drive down here. And the bonus is that chances are good they're gonna to get to meet yeah. Pearl right here. They always talk about leaving a legacy and all that. If I could do one thing, to make people feel that it's our responsibility to try to help one person that's less fortunate than you are, and we can change our neighborhood. I cut up bushes. I'm Pearl Fry from Bishopville. Thanks so much, Russ. You know, our friend Pearl had a birthday recently, and we just want to say happy 78th. The Pearl Fryer Topiary Garden is open daily, 9 to 4, and we've got a link posted with this story on the Carolina Impact page at pbscharlotte.org. If you're looking ahead for a vacation, how about a 15-day cruise this August? Here's your chance to win it. The PBS Victoria Sweepstakes is giving away an ocean cruise for two adults on Viking's British Isles Explorer. The grand prize includes a tour of London's palaces, cathedrals, and fortresses with special excursions to Oxford and my personal favorite, Highclere Castle, where Downton Abbey was filmed. You'll also cruise to Ireland, Wales, Northern Ireland, and so much more. And don't forget, you can enter the sweepstakes daily through March 15th.
All you have to do is go to our website, pbscharlotte.org, scroll down and look on the right-hand side for the Victoria Sweepstakes. Someone's going to win. Might as well be you. <laughs>